Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Priscilla, and today's video is all about how to make an animation on Blender. And this is one out of a two-part series on my channel on how to make animations, and make sure to stay tuned for the next video, which I will show you how to edit them into whatever kind of video you want to make. Right now I'm in Roblox Studio as you can see and I'm just going to be downloading my avatar and the room model that I want to use um, and I'm going to be stretching out my room model and kind of making it bigger for my GFX and you can just do that by hitting the home tab on the top, clicking scale and then moving whatever objects you want to increase size or decrease size. And if you guys don't know how to do anything so far in the video then go watch my how to make a GFX video because it's pretty much the same process, I just go through it in more detail, so go watch that first, I'll link it in the right hand corner, and then come back to this one. I will also be adding an HDRI in my animation, which is basically an add-on that gives your GFX or animation really good lighting and a very realistic background. So if you guys want to learn how to utilize HDRIs in your own GFX or animations, let me know so I can like show you guys on a different video. Okay, so now I'm in Blender, and I'm basically just positioning my character into the pose that I want. So just manipulate the rig a little bit and pose your character however you want. And I'm not sure if the purple like objects in the background is some sort of bug or a glitch or something, but somehow the, uh, the texture of it didn't load, but it will load once you render it. So just make sure that it works when you render it. Okay, so now it's time for the animation process, which is a little bit complicated. So just follow the steps really carefully and then we'll get through it. So right now my character is posed in the exact position that I want for the starting scene. Um, so what I'm going to be doing now is putting a keyframe right at that scene. So what I'm going to be doing is clicking on each of the rings around the limbs by hitting shift, holding down shift and then clicking each one and then press I on your keyboard and then hit location, rotation, scale and make sure that you're on your timeline. The blue tick, the blue line is at one instead of zero. And then once you do that, you will finally get a keyframe, which is that little yellow diamond right where that is. So here's the hard part. You have to do this for every single movement that you want on your character in order for the movements to save and flow smoothly. So even if you're only moving the wrist, for example, you should always be like putting the keyframe on every single ring on the avatar so that it's a lot more smooth and a lot more organized. So make sure to do that and not just um, click one ring at a, one of the rings at a time because that will just lead to a lot of problems. So just just trust me. And a top tip is to when especially in animations, but whenever you're making something on Blender, always hit Command or Control S on your keyboard because this will just save your project. And if any time that Blender quits unexpectedly, you won't lose your project. So speaking from experience, always just save it whenever you can. Another thing that I learned on Blender just from experience is that when you're, especially in this part where I'm like turning my character around in the animation, always move your character in the direction that you want it to move in the animation. So if you want it to move counterclockwise, then rotate it counterclockwise and then put the keyframe. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it, it doesn't really matter that much, but if you want to like put any big movement in your um, animation, then just know that when you're physically moving the character into the position that you want, make sure to do it in a way that you want it to be in the animation, if that makes any sense. Okay, so this part, I was trying to like make the make the character walk and walking is such a hard thing to do for me on blender like i've done so many animations and yet in every single one of them my walk like walking is just somehow like like i don't know how to do it so um once i do learn how to master animation animating walking then i will give a tutorial on that specifically because right now i i literally i can't tell you and another thing too is that when you are animating your Roblox character, your head is obviously disattached to your body because the, the head is not part of the rig. So whenever you're moving the whole body, make sure to consistently move the head with, at the same pace as the body, otherwise it will look very horrifying. So when in this case here, when I was moving my character from one place to another, it gets kind of complicated because if you put a keyframe when you're starting and then at the end where you wanna move it, 
the character is going to be slowly moving the entire time towards that direction so when you want to keep a character still or any limb for that matter if you want to keep any part of the character still then always duplicate the the keyframe like i'm doing here by double clicking the diamond and then hitting duplicate and then spread that across a, a certain period of time and that will give you this like a line here that i have and that just shows that your character or that part of the character is staying still and then when you're moving it to a different spot your keyframe will be changed so make sure to do that in order to keep your keep any part of your character still So when you want to move your camera, it's the exact same thing as the rig, just keep putting keyframes in it and especially on the camera, you don't want the camera to be constantly moving at a slow pace into the next keyframe. So again, just put the bar, duplicate the keyframe and you're all good. Okay, so when you're all done with your animation, then it's time to render. So go on the side here and then click the output icon, which is this one right here. And then scroll down until you find this section and then click the file folder and then choose wherever you want to save your animation. So for me, I'm saving mine to my downloads. And then for file format, make sure it's on FFmpeg video and click the RGB color. And then for container, click whatever fits with your computer. So for me, it's QuickTime because I have a Mac, but I think if, it w if you have a Windows, it's Matroska. Um, and then for video codec, choose this one right here, H264. And then at the bottom, put the output quality as medium quality and then the encoding speed as good. And then go to the top where it says render, and then it, it doesn't show on the screen, but then click render animation, and this should take a few hours to render. Okay, so this is my final animation. It took about like maybe an hour and a half, two hours to animate. And then the rendering process, well, I did it overnight. So it took around like maybe seven, six, seven hours. Um, yeah, it's very strenuous on your computer. So if you want to learn how to put text on it, how to put music, how to put cool effects on it and transitions, then stay tuned for the next video. I will show you guys how to make all of that stuff. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.